So this is going to be a really short talk on arteriovenous shunts, aka AV shunts, but it's kind of kind of useful because you're going to hear this come up quite a bit. AV shunt forms, blah blah blah. So what it what exactly this is? It's a formation of a fistula. So it's a uh, a fistula between the arteries and the vein, so aka an abnormal connection between the artery and the vein. And this is pointed out right here. This is an abnormal connection right here. That shouldn't be there. And what's going to happen is this this basically allows you to bypass the arterioles. Remember what the arterioles, remember what the key part of the arterial was? Remember that that was the major source of resistance in the vascular system. So you're going to bypass all that. You're going to have high pressure blood from the arteries. Remember, arteries have that high pressure. It's go directly into the venous system. It's going to go straight into the venous system and it's go to the heart. So you're going to have increased venous return because you're going to get you're going to bypass that high resistance area. You're going to get high pressure blood going straight into that into the venous system and increase that venous return. Now, the thing that is, that's going to happen is increased venous return is going to increase the amount of blood in the heart. And the term for this, I haven't talked about it yet, but the term for this is preload. So you're going to increase preload. And then after load, after load, actually I haven't explained this either, but after load is basically the term for the amount of pressure in the, in the blood system. It's the amount of the resistance that the heart has to pump against. Remember we skipped all of this. Remember the arteria is the major source of resistance. We skip all this. So you're going to have decreased after load. So the heart is going to be able to pump more and more. So the heart has higher volumes. It's going to be able to pump more um so it's going to work it's going to it's working extra hard now because it's going to pump extra blood so eventually your heart's going to work so hard it's going to tire out you're going to get high output cardiac failure now av shunts can form in a variety of diseases so you're going to encounter them so example casualist disease of the bone um and many other things so that's just something to take note of all right so that's it for a little talk on av shunts